My name is Ryan and I eat trees. And I'm Ronnie and this is Biscuit. Biscuit. And we are here to do what? My one and only dog. What are we here to do? Make ice cream. We're going to make ice cream. We're actually here to review the Yonanis machine, which I got for my birthday. Oh, this guy. Tickle. Don't eat it. Too cool. He's trying to eat frozen strawberries. Okay, so anyway, him and his brother and his dad got me this for my birthday this year because I make banana soft serve every night. And I was using my magic bullet, which I have a video and show you how I use that. And I'll link over to that. Um, and before that, I used to use my food processor. And the idea is really simple. You take frozen banana. This is frozen banana. <laughs> cut. I, I actually peel the banana when it's nice and ripe, cut it into squares, and just put it in a... Ziploc bag or a, a container in your freezer, and I keep them in stock in my freezer. Yeah. I have frozen strawberries that I bought um, already frozen from the grocery store, although you can pick your own and freeze them. And I have frozen blueberries also bought. Um, but again, any frozen. Now these are not, are not, you can eat these cold, okay, but not the strawberries. Right, because they're, they're small. Anyway, so let's not get this video out of hand. So, the machine basically acts like an ice cream maker. You put in the frozen fruit and out comes soft serve. Um, you don't need to add any extra ingredients, no sugar, no anything. Um, it's the same way as if you make it in your food processor. So um, I'm going to turn this on and I'll show you how it works. It's loud. <laughs> Let me warn you, right? Is it really loud? It's really loud. That's which is, why I like turning off the TV when mommy does it and turning it back on. Because he can't hear anything anyway. All right, so we're going to turn it on. You ready? Wait, it didn't go on. <laughs> so oh, ready now, now. Let's try that again. Ready? <laughs> All right. It's not that bad. All right, ready? Now. Let me shut it off. So now, the trick to making banana soft serve, you can just use bananas if you like. We like to mix in the berries. You can mix in peaches, frozen, frozen anything, really. Frozen melon. But you should always alternate the fruit. So we're going to do a little pattern. What's our pattern? Um, banana. Banana, strawberry, blueberry. Banana, strawberry, blueberries. I do a couple blueberries. So banana, strawberries, blueberries. Banana, strawberries, blueberries. So here we go. Ready? You want to do it? You want to put it in here or you want to press? Oh, I'm going to press. Okay, he likes to press. simple it is a little loud but you throw the fruit in and out comes this let's see it really is like soft serve consistency let me get a spoon I have a spoon right here, actually so it really is like soft soft serve consistency we found oh it's so good he's gonna get his own spoon <laughs> we have this spoon all right buddy remember I said about close to the camera we found um this combination to be our favorite defrost the fruit um, just a few minutes, it, it goes a lot faster. The first time I used it, I took them right out of the freezer and put it right through the machine, and it was a struggle to push it down. Um, it still came out good. It was just harder, and then um, it took longer, and it seems like to tax the machine more. If you let the fruit sit out just for a few minutes, it um, really goes a lot faster. That was actually really fast. Now, this is, in my opinion, it gives you a lot of bulk. You saw, I didn't weigh anything, but that was basically one banana. Um, that is yummy about, um, I don't know, eight to 10 frozen strawberries and just a handful, maybe a half a cup if less, of frozen blueberries. And him and I will share this in a night and it's more than enough um, for us to, to enjoy kind of our ice cream treat at night. And we've also mixed in cocoa powder. So when I used to make my banana serve in the bullet or in the food processor, I would add cocoa powder right to the food processor. But you cannot do this with this machine. I tried, believe me, the, co the powder goes right out the bottom and doesn't actually mix with anything. <laughs> so you're better off if you want to add any non-fruit toppings, 
to do it post-production. So I'll just take a scoop and kind of mix it in there and it stays and retains its kind of soft serveness um, through the mixing process. You could do nuts, you could do chocolate chips. You, I mean, really, you could do anything you want. I've really heard and I've been meaning to try uh, bananas and peaches and make like a peaches and cream-ish kind of ice cream. That would be fun. <laughs> The result, the, the, really the possibilities are endless, and it's nice. It literally takes five minutes, but we did want to show you one more thing. You need to clean it as soon as you're done. So, as soon as you're done, it just basically unlocks. This part slides right off, right? Of course, he already licked this part. <laughs> this unscrews, and there's going to be tons of banana soft serve inside the machine. Oh, Mom, I know what I really want to lick right now. Okay, hold on. So, if you take this apart, it comes, it's, there's three pieces. There's this piece, and you can see that's all scrapable, good, yummy stuff. <laughs> There's also the blades. That is sharp. I almost cut my tongue off trying to lick that. Yeah, the first day, he's like, oh, can I lick this stuff? And I'm like, sure. And then now he's licking the blade. So be careful with this white piece in the middle. And then there's this piece. This piece, and I know what I really want to You want to use your spoon? Let me get another spoon. Wait, mm -hmm. where is this? That's it, honey. Wait, there's where did it come out from? Oh. Yeah, he licks it all. Just... Don't mind us and our gross licking techniques. <laughs> anyway, scrape all this off. It's all good stuff. I always get everything that I can. And then when you're done, um, your best bet is just to run everything Mommy, under. I'm eating that. Oh, sorry. Mommy, I'm eating that. Your best bet, just run everything under warm water. Clean it right up. I actually leave the pieces dismantled in my um, drain in the sink. You know my. Uh, drying basket and then almost every night kind of I, I uh, pull them out make my banana serve at the end of the day rinse them under warm water and put them right back so it's um, it is easy to clean if you don't let it sit out so overall we're really happy with the machine I'm not a big fan of unit taskers it's another device in my kitchen and it's kind of annoying but it is very useful it is very easy to use kids can help and it really is a great alternative to um, keeping socked ice cream in your freezer. I'd rather keep bags of fresh fruit or frozen fruit. And I actually, it's a nice way um, when your bananas are going too brown or even if you have other fruit that's about to spoil, grab it really fast, throw it in baggies and put it in the freezer and then turn it into soft serve. So it's a nice way to save that fruit that you otherwise would probably throw away anyway. So <laughs> that's it. Um, that's our review of the United's Machine. We are big fans and um, we're gonna go now and enjoy this before it melts. Right? And, this. and that. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I hope that helps any of you who are on the fence about this device. All right, and say bye. Bye bye. I still eat trees, though. I don't ask. Bye. <laughs>